One of my favorite philosophers of the 20th century is Emmanuel Levinas. He grew up in Lithuania, which was then part of the Russian Empire. He saw the 300th anniversary of the Romanov dynasty, and he also saw the whole thing fall um, with the beginning of the USSR. During World War II, Levinas fought uh, in, uh, on the uh, French side uh, of, of the war, and uh, his wife and his daughter were both hidden in a monastery, but almost everyone else in his life was killed because he was Jewish. His philosophy really is a response to the 20th century philosoph philosophical school positivism. The positivists believed that there really was no such thing as real knowledge apart from what you could um, prove scientifically. And you're probably thinking the same thing that I thought when I first heard that, which is, how do you prove that scientifically? Um, but they never seemed to be able to address that question quite right. But what Emmanuel Levinas said was that rather than beginning with an idea of how things are, the nature of things, what he called ontology, or beginning with how we know things, um, which philosophers call epistemology, he said that what we should really begin with is our own experience. In other words, before abstractions, before, uh, before uh, complicated theory, what we really need to begin with is the person right in front of us. And this is what he wrote. He said, the idea of the infinite, or my relation to God, comes to me in the, con in the concreteness of my relation to the other person, in my responsibility for the neighbor. He said that we can't, uh, the mind is always reaching beyond itself. We're always trying to experience the infinite. But he says we do, we, we do take in the infinite when we see another person's face. That person is giving us so much more through their facial expressions than we can even consciously understand or unconsciously understand. And that person, he says, for us, should be the image of God. It's a very powerful idea, and it's helped me immensely to understand what really matters. He calls um, ethics what he, first philosophy. Now, in the last 20 years or so, the global Anglican church, the part of the church that we're part of, has had a really difficult time with the American church because the American church has endorsed gay marriage. We have gay priests and gay bishops. Um, so LGBTQ uh, um, rights and ideas are really important in North American Christianity. And it's hard for priests and bishops and regular Christians in places like Africa and, uh, and in Asia to understand that. But for me, what it all comes down to is the way that we see in a person's face, um, we, we see the experience of God. We see the truth of what is most important in our lives. And so that experience of the face, that experience has led us to change the church in profound ways. And I'm very grateful to my LGBTQ plus brothers and sisters and siblings um, for having brought us to a, a much deeper place in the church. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California. And thanks for watching. More good news.